Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about a really important privacy topic that isn't always covered all that often. And it deals with metadata, which is something I went over in a recent video. If you take a look at my video on spoofing picture locations, metadata are tags that are attached to actual storage when we're talking about actual files. Now there's also metadata that is leaked in transmission during usage of protocols such as these three examples I used here. Now any connection to a different TCP UDP port that would be a network protocol where metadata would apply. Now a lot of times that data is not encrypted. For example, that data can identify you uniquely where the IP address, which is where you're connecting from in the protocol, that is a piece of metadata. The host name as well is linked uniquely to you. MAC address, of course, that is a very unique identifier and a serial number on your hardware, basically. And we have all of these things when you connect to a service or a internet server protocol you're going to be offering all that information because it, it makes up the very basis of making a connection in the layers of the network protocol. So what we are seeing here is we're seeing the three different example protocols and we're seeing a, a little bit of the metadata that is uniquely identifying. So even if, say, the web is HTTPS, there may be identifying metadata passed along the way. And I also pointed out here that I wanted to talk a little bit about Tor Routers, the hardware solution. That's a great option for you. I'm going to actually go over how to set one up yourself. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. I will be going over that topic. I know there's been a lot of interest. And the fact of the matter is, if you're going from a direct connection to a VPN or a direct connection to a Tor connection, the fact is metadata is still being used in the connections. You s so if you have applications open, for example, you have a browser open to a certain website, a personal account on your Facebook, well, the metadata is going to still be going over the air that is going to uniquely identify you even if you change over to a VPN or a Tor connection. So the overall picture will still uniquely identify you because that unique metadata stays the same as long as you have those same applications open to the same page. I'm hoping this makes sense to you, so if you have questions, feel free to leave a comment. And when we went over the pictures and how to change some of the meta tags in those pictures, we changed our location and we changed the author just to have a little fun with metadata. There's also metadata in all other files. So you may see in a PDF, you may find the author there. You may find other pieces of uniquely identifying information. All of this is what makes up metadata. And so metadata can be a really unique way to identify an individual. And I wanted to talk a little bit about using a hardware tour router and the safety behind that as well. And metadata is the perfect example for why you need to be using smart applications with a minimization of metadata. For example, if you use Signal Messenger, they do not give off as much metadata as, say, if you were to have used AOL Instant Messenger back in the day, or if you were to use MSN Messenger, or any of the other major companies that enjoy collecting data as messengers. So the metadata is something you need to be concerned about if you're really concerned about privacy. And it allows, by paying attention to the metadata and what's out there and what can uniquely identify you, even if your connection is encrypted as we see in this straight line here. I used the dashes to show what is easily picked up over the line. So if someone's in a man in the middle attack, for example, which can be done on a large scale, or it can be done localized on the local area network. Now all of the metadata here would be picked up. So the username, the IP address, and the MAC address, 
you know, the, all of these things are picked up on the applications you have open. That's the protocols that are transmitting that metadata. Now, we also have the hard files which store metadata inside them. So if you upload pictures, another interesting thing is certain websites actually insert metadata tags inside the pictures to uniquely identify your IP address as a metadata tag using a conversion to base 64 or something else. This is being done right now. So keep keep in mind where you download it from. If you download a picture from a direct connection, then think you can upload that over a VPN or Tor, you might want to be careful to note that certain websites actually insert the IP address that you downloaded it from into that picture as you save it. So there's a lot of deeper levels to this stuff. Uh, when it comes to privacy and uh, this is another reason I mentioned using smart applications. Now if you have the option to use Hunix, that's a great option for you, but you know what? Not everybody has a top-of-the-line computer that can handle Hunix. It requires 16 gigabytes of RAM for decent usage and uh, most people don't have 16 gigabytes of RAM. But a hardware tour router is another solution for you as well as a VPN. But as I mentioned in previous videos, make sure you trust that VPN more than your internet service provider because you're going to be transferring a lot of this metadata over to that VPN whereas your ISP would originally have it. And of course, a lot of people do know about the fact that ISPs can sell your personal data. And VPNs could as well if they so choose to in the USA since the year 2017 that's been legal. By using smart applications that protect your privacy and not leaving all of these applications open, if you're changing over your connection, if you're trying to compartmentalize different uh, types of interests on the internet, say your computer interests, you may not want um, link to your hiking interests or you know all of these things if you're trying to protect yourself from health insurance companies which are now billing people higher bills in the USA for having hobbies such as hiking so that is considered a risk to health insurance companies so there's a lot of reason for everyone to be interested in privacy it doesn't mean you have anything to hide what it means is you're smart and you want to protect yourself from the future where data is the new oil and we're all being taken advantage of and also the data is being used to manipulate people on a massive scale including election interference and countless other things this is where the real money is right now it is in data and public manipulation and marketing things like that so that's what metadata is you need to pay close attention to the applications you use, what kind of metadata do they leak out, and what's encrypted. So you may not know all of this off the top of your head, but it's something to keep in mind. So if you leave a browser open, as I mentioned, and you had metadata leaking out that was uniquely identifying you from a direct connection, and then you connect to a VPN and you still have that same web page open, well, there you go. Now your VPN uh, is connected to your direct IP address and MAC address. So all these things are part of the protocols when it comes to interacting with different services on the internet and a lot of them leak out different pieces of metadata while interacting with these and each packet has you know of course the MAC address, the IP address, the host name, all of those things and then on the local area network your machine name or your host name locally is also shared with anything you connect to your gateway etc so your ISP gateway if you're not using your own router if you're using a direct connection to your ISP you know of course even if you're connecting to a VPN your ISP is getting your MAC address and uh, this is why personally I use a couple different routers I actually have a Tor router that I've customized and I also have a VPN router and I also have a direct connection security router so I have a choice between three different options when I connect to the internet and uh, I have it a couple layers deep just because I enjoy setting up these kinds of things and security and playing around with different options on privacy so remember your applications are leaking 
choose smart applications, choose smart operating systems, look out for telemetry, and I will be back with more on protecting your privacy.